Welcome back to another edition of Roof and Right with Dave and Wally. And Wally, that's Dave. Dave. We have a special guest with us again, Kristen, from the Building Roof and Science Division. In this series, we've, we've been talking about cold storage installations. In this particular video, we're going to talk about curb penetrations. So we have a gap left around here. Why do we leave a gap? Well, this is perfect, Wally. So what we want to do is make sure that we have a minimum one inch gap from our penetration to our insulation. And previously what we did was fill the flutes with spray foam. And now we want to come back and fill this gap all the way around the perimeter with spray foam from the deck all the way to the top of it. And what we want to do is make sure that we're leaving the cold on the interior and separating from the warm exterior so that we don't cause any condensation issues. All right, so now it's just a matter of actually coming and just putting the spray foam in, right? That's all you got to do. All right, purge this. So we've got our base attachment in here, it's what we require. We've got our wood nailer in there. We've got our inch and a half foamed all the way around this. Now we've got the flashing. Right. So most guys are just, sometimes they'll bring your flashing up onto the top on a normal install. Oh yeah. And let the unit hold it down. But since this is cold storage, we've got to take, do a couple of extra steps. Mm -hmm. So you want to explain what we've done here? Well, we've taken the uh, membrane over and down inside. Okay. We have water block on the inside, Goes behind the membrane. Correct. Water block, membrane, bar, six inches on center, and that's it. What about an inside corner? We also yeah. have to do something with those, right? Just take one of our universal corners, cut it off, put it in here, cut the, the outside so not edge not only off. on, we got to do outside corners. Oh, it, yeah. But now we got to do the inside corners on the inside of the HVAC unit. Correct. Or whatever unit it is. Right, because that's what gives you your seal. To stop the air from infiltrating through. Right. Now... Do we have to glue these? I think it's easier. Yeah, I mean, you don't have to glue them, but it's, to me, I think it's going to be a lot easier fit to make that fit nice and tight up this angle change over and in. Yeah, because... it's be a lot easier to work on. Well, yeah, and you want it tight, yeah. to be honest with you. Yeah. So, yeah. Thanks for joining uh, Roof and Right with Dave and Wally. If you want any further information, feel free to look at our website, gif.com slash cold storage.